Jaquela, just talk about what the keys were to the win today. Um, so the keys definitely was we focused on rebounding, um, keeping them off the boards offensively. And with our rebound, and we also focused on getting back to transition. We know Towson's a great transition team. They love to push the pace. So we really focused on having someone stop the ball right away and having our safety back in the paint, getting everybody matched up. Kayla and Max, uh, if you have questions, raise your hand and I'll and open up your lines. Go ahead, Max. Hey, J.K. Lutz, Max Zackle from WRHU. Uh, you had a great game today. You tie your career high and you beat a team led by – a first-team CAA player in Kiana Jeter. What did that mean for you to beat a player like that caliber and also knock out a team like that as well? Um, so Jeter, she's a great player. Um, she has a lot, like, she's a really good player, so I respect her a lot. And Towson's a really good team, so us beating them um, this season in the for the first game is really big for us, really big for our confidence going into this. And, yeah, they're a great team, so it's a great win. Jaquela, 26 points, but only one three, but it was a huge one there in the overtime. How big was that shot? Yeah, it definitely was a big shot. Um, yes, it, it definitely was. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Kayla. You guys are making it back to the semis for the first time in two seasons after pulling off this win versus Towson. How does it feel from after earlier this season being ranked 10th in preseason souls to seed fifth and now go to the semifinals? Um, yeah, it's definitely a big deal just showing how much we've worked this preseason and how we've gotten better since the season started. And just going out there every day in practice, it starts in practice, just getting better, staying confident in what we're doing and trusting the process. Yeah, you, know, you guys got off that fast start and then and, and Towson rallied. What was the message going into overtime to try to regain the momentum? Just sticking to what we've been doing the whole game. I mean, what we what we were doing was working and trying not to get rattled when they make a run and just staying with our game plan, executing down the stretch. Max, or Max, go ahead, Max. Uh, Jaquela, consistently in March, even dating back to your freshman year, you've had great performances <laughs> in the CAA tournament. What's the difference for you? What do you do differently, or is it or is it just you know when it's crunch time, it's time to show up? Um, yeah, it's just just the mindset. Like you go into it, regular season doesn't matter anymore. Everyone's zero zero. Just go into it, confident. Go out there, play hard, play like it's your last game, and just leave it all on the floor. Anything else from you, Max or Kayla? All right, Kayla, thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm joined by Hofstra head coach Daniel Santos Atkinson and, and Danielle before uh, we open up for some questions, just an opening comment from you on the victory. Yeah, really, really, really proud of this team uh, and the way they fought, the way they competed, uh, and the toughness that they had from start to finish. Uh, uh, as, we, as we mentioned before, going into tournament, it's all about being the tougher team. Uh, as Ja'Kayla mentioned, it is 0-0. Zero, zero. It's not about what you did uh, throughout the season. It's not about what you're going to do. It's about that game and being present and, and winning that game uh, in the moment. And so I thought this team came out. Uh, we left it all on the floor, gave it everything we had, uh, and we came out successful. But there was so much growth in this team, so many things that we've been working on throughout the year uh, that were able to come through for us tonight. And again, just really proud of the way they competed and the toughness that we've had. Hi, Coach. Congratulations on the win. Hofstra has had, they were currently on a seven-game losing streak to a team like the Towson Tigers. What does it mean to you for this team to snap that streak and make it to the semis with them? I, I think they they have come and they have worked for this moment. Uh, and I think the the way that we prepared and the way that we we worked throughout this year and, and staying with our process, 
Uh, I think we deserved it. It's a great Towson team, uh, great Towson team. They play hard. Uh, they challenge us. They're dynamic. They're fast. They, they, they have the ability to score for multiple positions. But I'm really proud of this team. And, and I think we, we deserve the victory for, for the way that we came out and we fought today. But not only that, but the way we prepared, the way we prepared, uh, not only physically on the floor, but our mindset and our preparation uh, and coming to this conference tournament was where it needed to be. Hey, Coach Max Sackle, WRHU. Um, you guys got a huge comeback today. Towson obviously took the lead back a bit in the fourth quarter. What did you guys do in the timeout or the huddle to both push back, get the lead back, force overtime, and I guess come away with the win? What was your mindset change in the fourth? Uh, again, we knew that this would be a game of runs. Towson is a, is a, is a great team, uh, and they have uh, success in the tournament. They, they have the experience in the tournament of making deep runs. We knew that we'd face adversity. We knew that uh, there would be momentum swings. So for us, it was staying steady and continuing to do the things that had gotten us there. We made some adjustments defensively on the defensive end. Uh, they had gotten a few threes that had put them on a run. Uh, so we made some adjustments defensively and how we guarded the ball screens and, 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 and whether we were uh, – in man or zone, um, but that helped us defensively and forcing some tougher shots. Uh, and then we had to put the emphasis back on rebounding. Uh, they had gotten away with getting a few offensive rebounds that sent them to the free throw line and, and caused us to, to foul or got some put back points. Uh, and I think we had an uh, emphasis on boxing out, did a better job with that. Uh, and then we were able to uh, level the game out and bring ourselves back. And a quick follow-up as well. It's been the storyline all season. You guys were picked 10th. You guys are now fifth and advancing to the next round as well. <laughs> for you guys, I guess it sounds like a broken record, but what does it mean for you guys that you keep proving everyone in the CAA wrong, especially with the win today? Yeah, we, we came into this year with that chip on our shoulder. We knew being ranked 10th was, was not the potential of this team. We, we knew what we had amongst our team and we knew how hard we would work this season. And we've, we've done that all year long. And the success we wanted to see was the growth amongst our team and amongst our players individually. Uh, and as long as we continue to see that, we're headed in the right direction as we continue to build Hofstra's program. Uh, but, but really proud, like I said, of this team and the way, as you mentioned, we continue to fight back and, and prove people wrong. Go ahead, Gail. Coach, tomorrow you're going to look to play a team, either the number one Delaware Fighting Blue Hens or even the UNCW Seahawks. What are you going to look to do or adjust to one of those play styles? Uh, for us, we've got to we've got to stick to what we do. Uh, defensively, we want to cause havoc. We want to cause havoc. We want to force tough shots uh, every single possession. Offensively, we want to go. We want to push. Uh, once we're forced to play in the half court, we've got to we've got to break down and execute, and we can do that whether it's man or zone. Uh, but we've got to continue to go out and play with confidence, uh, and we've got to go out and continue to have a toughness, physically and mentally, to help us continue to get through this tournament. And, you know, maybe just a comment on Jaquiel's performance today, 26 points, and as I touched on with her, that big three in overtime. Yeah, Jaquiel has been playing with so much confidence, and, and that's changed our team uh, this year. She's done a, so much work uh, on our own in the offseason uh, and even throughout this year in, in getting herself to a point – to the point that she is now and she's earned it and she's she deserves it uh she's a leader for our team uh and and she does that every single day in practice she's going to push people and hold people accountable uh as she pushes herself and so the confidence that she's playing with uh, and that she's been playing with has changed our team uh it allows other people to play with that same confidence uh and allows them to raise their level to match that intensity and that energy Dr. Kelly, have anything else? All right, Daniel, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.